Hi guys, this is Neil from the Overclock magazine. So let's get right to it. So today I'm bringing you the Team Group Delta T3 DDR4 3200 DRAM kit, okay? So this kit is rated at 16, 18, 18, 38 at 1.35 volts. And this kit is available in 16 gigabytes and I think 32 gigabyte uh, capacities. But right now I only tested the 16 gigabyte one, which is comprised of two eight gigabyte sticks. Standard stuff. This is a budget kit, it's selling for 1649 at Woodware. Okay, in fact, once again, they provided the evaluation kit for this. This, in this instance, is Samsung C die. And what that means is that this is probably a budget IC. Okay, this is a, bu a budget DRAM IC. And with that, it's the second set that I've tried that C die. And just like the first set, it tops out at 3800 MTs a second. Okay, so that's DDR 1900 megahertz. Now, you might think that 3200 to 3800 isn't much, but it's actually a respectable amount. And in fact, the, if you just look at the frequency alone, you may not be seeing the whole picture because yes, I agree, 300 megahertz when you were starting at 1600 may not be much, but you can actually tune the timings, particularly the sub timings. So I'm talking secondary and tertiary timings. You can see the settings that I used for my OC settings. Feel free to try them and see if they work for you on your particular set if you have CDI, okay? So I tried these settings and I used these and yeah, they gave me better performance than XMP ever could. I had originally tried to tighten the timings at the D4 3200 MTs a second, but that wasn't successful. So I gave up on that quick because I tried CL15 and then I tried at 3000 that is. And then I even tried CL17 by lowering the other timings and it just wasn't working for me. So I gave up on that. However, if you do increase frequency and relax the timings a little bit, you do find there's some performance to be had there. And the fortunate thing about this is that you can actually derive this performance or this frequency at 1.35 volts. Personally, I used 1.4 volts as you can see on screen, but that's before I tried again at 1.35 to find that you actually could. And this is quite important because the heat sinks on this memory are quite thin. I wouldn't necessarily call them the best by any stretch of the imagination. But then again, this is a budget kit, so you do learn to expect such things. And feeling them, okay, just putting my hand to them, they're actually quite warm. So it is fortunate that you can run this at 1.35 without adding more voltage. And before you ask, or if you're thinking, did I try more voltage? Yes, I did, and it didn't help at all. So 1.35, 1.4 volts, and you should be fine to get the most out of this memory. Having said that, because again, it is a budget set, something that you will not find on the memory is a thermal sensor. So you probably are better off using the lower voltages than the higher ones, if only because you have no information about what kind of temperatures your memory is running at, okay? So either way, for this price, I think this is a fairly decent kit. As you can see in the results, I gained a lot from it. The main results that I use, the main tests that I use were Geekbench 3 memory test and 3 Mark. Okay, 3D Mark uh, times by CPU test. Obviously, at the end of this review, you'll see the other benchmarks that I tried and you can gauge for yourself the performance gains that you get from overclocking, which is again, the important part of this DRAM kit, right? I will say this, at the default XMP settings, I mean, it's, it's not gonna be great, okay? With, in a world where we have 3200, C141414, right? We all know of those particular G-Skill kits that were everywhere. In a world where we have that at 3200, coming in at 16, 18, 18 is not gonna set anybody's world alight, okay? That's just not gonna happen. However, you can do something about that and the 3800 settings that I used yielded a lot of performance, okay? So in Geekbench in particular, I think the memory score started at 5600 or so, and after the overclock settings, I ended up at 6,900. This is quite significant because this particular benchmark is sensitive to memory. And then in something that I think a lot more of us can relate to is in the 3DMark Time Spy CPU score or CPU test rather. So in this test, I gained over 1000 points by overclocking the memory. So we went from a score of 9,700 or so to over 10,700. That's pretty significant. And that just speaks to how much you can extract from this memory if you're so willing to overclock it. And the fortunate thing about this memory is that it's just so easy to overclock. You don't need more voltage. You don't need any of that. Just relax the timings to the timings that I used. Try these if you are gonna try. Try these timings and see if you can get 3800. And if you can 3800, well, you'll get the performance that I got. So overall 1649, 
that's a damn good price for this memory and we all know that or rather we heard recently that memory prices may even drop further so a week from now or whenever it is okay this DRAM might actually cost less than it does now but even if it didn't go down in price this is a great price for the kind of memory you're getting and I must say it doesn't look too bad okay so from my end I think it's an okay budget set if you are in the market take a look at this you could do a whole lot worse than this one anyway let me know what you think in the comments below remember to like share subscribe and I'll see you on the flip side take care and peace